Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a radical exponential equation. And we're going to be finding the x values. We have the square root of 2 to the power of the square root of 2 to the power of x equals 2. And we're going to be solving for x values. But I'm not just going to show you the solution. Uh, this is also going to lead to something interesting that I think we talked about before. If I can find that link, I'll try to share with you. Or if any of you know of that link, please share with us. <laughs> Anyways, so we have this expression or equation. How do we solve for it? Let's go ahead and focus on the inside. Here we have something inside the radical. So when you square root something, a real number like square root of a, you can basically write it as a to the power one half. Obviously in the complex world, this means something else because there are two complex roots. There are three complex cube roots, so on and so forth. But in the real world, we're looking for real solutions. We can just talk about something to the power 1 half is the same as square root. So we can take that 2 to the power square root of 2 to the power x equals, actually not that equals, this to the power 1 half equals 2. Okay? So I basically replaced the square root with power 1 half. And now, what should I do? When you have a to the power x to the power y, the powers are multiplied or the exponents are multiplied. We're going to use the same rule here. Multiply the powers, you're going to get square root of 2 to the x multiplied by 1 half. You could also write it as divide by 2, same thing. Now we get into a position where we have the same basis, so we can go ahead and put the invisible base, which is 1, and now set these equal to each other. So this should equal 1. Let's go ahead and set up another equation where we have square root of 2 to the power x times 1 half is equal to 1. And then we can just go ahead and solve for x. Let's multiply both sides by 2. 2 is going to cancel out the 1 half because they are reciprocals. And then we're going to end up with the square root of 2 to the power x equals 2. And now by squaring both sides, which is obviously uh, something we should do, right, to solve for x, we can get... 2 to the power x equals 4. We still didn't get the x. It took a while to unfold it. But if you think about 4 as 2 to the second power, then it should be obvious that x equals 2 is the only solution. Are there any complex solutions? Good question. Something to think about. But I want to show you something else. The whole purpose wasn't just like a you know three-minute video where we just solved a basic, easy sort of equation. The idea is a little different. There's more to it. So now let's go back to our problem. We have the square root of 2 to the power square root of 2 to the power x equals 2 and we just found out that this is actually x is equal to 2. Make sense? Okay. Since x is equal to 2 I can go ahead and do the following. Notice that there's an x here. We can go ahead and replace it with 2 or just this whole thing. Look at that, because this is equal to 2, right? So replace the 2 with square root of 2 to the power, square root of 2 to the power. Now this x will be replaced with square root of 2 to the power, square root of 2 to the power x. And then hopefully this makes more sense to you now. And then it's going to equal to 2 again. So if you keep doing this, you're going to end up with something like this. You're going to get square root of 2 to the power square root of 2, to the power square root of 2, to the power square root of 2, dot, dot, dot. And you're going to have an x at some point, right? And you're going to close all the radicals. And this is still going to equal 2. So if this goes on forever, you're going to have like an infinite expression, or if you want to call it an infinite series or sequence, however you want to express it, it should converge to 2. But obviously, convergence is another story, and you kind of have to go with the limits. And you kind of define, you need to define your sequence. So how do you define your sequence? You could probably start with something like, okay, let a sub 1 be 2 to the power x or the square root of 2 to the power x. And then a sub 2 equals square root of 2 to the power a sub 1. And then, in other words, you can basically say that a sub n is equal to the square root of 2 to the power a sub n minus 1. Make sense? And then you can kind of look at the limit as and approaches infinity. And this is all I wanted to say about this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video.
Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.